Hi everyone, it's Sam Panda. We have just updated the source code for this smart video car kit for Raspberry Pi. It's a big step and it's pretty cool. So sit down and take your socks off. So the update mainly includes two things. First, the code is now available for Windows users. Thank God you don't need a Linux virtual machine anymore. And yeah, sorry for being late. And so the other one is that you can now control this smart video car. If you enjoyed the phone. Okay, before that I'm gonna tell you a little story. We got a pull request from a customer on GitHub. It says that he make it works for Windows users. We are excited, we tested it, but it didn't work. Bummer. So we did it in our way. You can learn the details on our GitHub repository. Okay, for Windows users, the first thing you need to do is to download Python. Visit Python's web page and find the download. You need to download the Python 2.7 as the latest one is Python 2.7.11 and after you download it, you install it and then you need to go to github repository and download the source code from here while the python is downloading let's let's deal with these smart video car put on the batteries and put it on the box and here I use a USB to serial port to lock into the Raspberry Pi without network GND TX Put it on the computer. Here, Python is download. Let's install it. When it's installing, we can access to the Raspberry Pi. We use a putty and change it to serial mode type in the com port and speed to 115200 open it's finished it doesn't appear anything you just type in the username Here's the password. It's raspberry. raspberry. And I can use ifconfig to view the IP address here. 155. And the source code is download here let's try it okay it's extract on the raspberry pi Oh, it's, it's just still a new one, so git 
column you can copy it here copy the address here and on your Windows PC go to client you can see a Kelly client win file right click and edit with IDLE this one is for Windows users and change the host of course to to your Raspberry Pi's IP address and it's done here change directory to the source code we just download and go to server the same run the Kali server sudo python Kali server so, smbus sudo I forget to install it so apt get install python sm bus it might take a while okay try I run the Kali server again in such file correct. Oh forget to turn on the I square C. Also, I want to show you a little script I just read. It's on a root directory of the source code. This one, the I Square C helper. So many people don't know how to set up the I Square C. So I run this little script to help you. Run sudo python I Square C helper. It will show you the Pi's revision, the I2C bus number, and check the device, etc. Okay, since it's done, so back to server and run again the Kelly. There you go. Okay, let's assess the Raspberry Pi with his IP address. Pi Raspberry So Thunder. Go to the server and run the caddy again. Okay, now on Windows, change the host IP address and hit here run, run model. Okay. Then, here's the screen like the one on Linux. Try it, let's try it. The right one is running backward. Okay, and the turning in the pen
and set the tail. Okay, hit confirm. Then run the TCP client sudo python tcp server. You see? Calibrate well. And on Windows, you can also control the smart video car on client, rack it on client app. It did with IDLE and also change the host to your Raspberry Pi's IP and RAM model. You can now control it. Yeah, I just tell that that's pretty much about Windows. Okay, now let's talk about the most important one, the Android app. For Android users, of course you need to download the app from Google Play. You can search for video car controller and you can see the pink little icons here and hit install I have already installed it okay now back to the Raspberry Pi log in to Raspberry Pi and change directory to the code you can see a new folder here named HTML server CD to there and by the way, the, this server is writing based Django so that you need to install Django use pipe install Django here I already installed it then run servo like this sudo python manage py run server it's not worth forget it to 8000 port here it's opening the camera and here it's open the server and don't remember to Log into the same Wi-Fi with the Raspberry Pi. There. Type in your Raspberry Pi's IP address and hit the right arrow here. There it is. Now you can control the wheels by tilting the phone like this. And here the up arrow is forward, the down arrow is backward. And you can change the speed here. The buttons here are to control the cameras like this. Also, at the setting button here, you can see the help of a web page of our GitHub and there's an about information. So that's it. If you are interested, we will provide the HTML servers API for you so that you could make your own controllers, the iOS one, the physical joystick or so on. And the tools we just used, the USB to serial, it will be available on our website soon. So if you like this video, subscribe. And if you got any questions, visit our website and email us. Bye.